How are you? How are you? Still, good, uh, good. Yeah, I got pulled over for no reason, sir. Correct? Absolutely no reason at all. You got pulled over? Pulled over for no reason, just going straight to my house, a few feet away. Okay, so why are you over here? I live right here. I live right here, sir. I live, this is, my, you guys are pulling me over outside of my house. I did nothing wrong, sir. I did nothing wrong, sir. Check your dashboard camera, sir. I already told you the reason why I stopped. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And I just want to verify you don't have your driver's license. That's fine. A hi good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for future video notifications. This video is from YouTube channel Ashir Aaron. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credit where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments and as always guys, if you would like to support my channel, Please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Let's get it into. Yeah, please. Yep. So the reason why I stopped you, you mm -hmm. just stopped. Yeah, my little cat uh, ran away from my house. I, I live right here. Okay, you, well, you, you stopped were... in the middle of the roadway. Oh, no, no. There's not a stop sign. There's not nothing. It's uh, on 19th Avenue right there. Uh huh. You just came to a complete Yeah, there was a cat the running in the road. No, I thought you were you stopped for maybe. No, there was a cat. Seconds. There okay. was like a Just cat. Your driver's license, your registration, your insurance. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta step Sorry. out of my car. For your driver's license? Yeah, because I don't think I got it on me. I'm so, hold on. I'm sorry? I don't think I got it with me. Okay, is the vehicle registered to you? Yes, it is. It's on you or it's not on you? Oh, uh, I, gotta, I gotta check. I don't wanna get shot. So, I'm not gonna shoot you unless you have a gun in your Well, well, I don't want to reach for anything. I don't, I don't want to get shot. Okay. Is the car registered to you? Oh, the car is registered to me, yes. Okay, I could just mm -hmm. pull it up from... Okay, that. yeah, please so do I'm so. I just want to make sure you don't have your driver's license on you right no, now? No, no, no. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. hold on. What's okay. your first name? Adrian, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step out of the car because I don't want any pro problems. I, I just filed a just complaint against Sergeant Martinez. That's fine. Last week, and I know okay. you guys have been sitting outside my house for two days. Uh, I don't know. To just intimidate me? Okay, you don't know. I don't, want to, okay. I don't want you to get hit by No, no, people. no. This is my house. Okay, you guys are... Listen, you're in the middle of the roadway. You're standing but, but, in the middle of the roadway I know, but right you're intimidating. I don't want you to get hit by a vehicle. I know, but I just so made please, a complaint against your sergeant last week. Hang out over here week, or on sir. the sidewalk. Okay, please. thank you. What's your first thank name you. again? It's Adrian T-A-S-C-I-L-L-O. I just got off the phone with 911. Right, well, it's okay. Let me get uh, your card number. I will ask her once I've finished my investigation, okay. please. Okay, what, it, well, what investigation, sir? You're a sitting outside of my house. So You're sitting relax. outside of my house for intimidation. Be honest. No, be honest. I just ran into Chris O'Brien today at, at the City Hall and had a talk with him. Yep, just had a talk with Chris O'Brien today at City Hall, sir. Yeah, the lights are hurting my eyes. Let me step off to this side. Yeah, you know, I'm out of the road, Raid. Yeah, I appreciate you worrying about my safety. Just so sad, I made a complaint against your sergeant a week ago. Now you guys are pulling me feet away from my house as I'm pulling into my house. Really sad. Did absolutely nothing wrong, sir. Check your dashboard camera. Did nothing wrong, man. We'll be out of here in two minutes, all right? Nope. Did nothing wrong. Shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here, sir. I did nothing wrong. Shouldn't be here. So tell Sergeant Martinez, sorry. Filed a complaint against him last week. Now you guys are doing this. That's all right. I should have knew when I seen Chris O'Brien today. I should have knew it. <laughs> it's so sad. So sad. That's all right. It's all right. We're going to get down to the bottom of the corruption. Don't worry. How are you? How are you? Still good, good. Yeah, I got pulled over for no reason, sir. Absolutely no reason at all. You got pulled over? Pulled over for no reason. Just going straight to my house a few feet away. Okay, so why are you over here? I live right here. I live right here, sir. I live. This is my, you guys are pulling me over outside of my house. I did nothing wrong, sir. I did nothing wrong, sir. Check your dashboard camera, sir. Okay, I already posted the reason why. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And I just want to verify you don't have your driver's license. That's fine. I didn't want you to shoot me, so I don't want to reach around my I car. I don't want to lose my life for no reason tonight, sir. Oh, you know me? I don't know you, sir. How do I know you? I don't, oh, you already know me, so it looks like a setup right here. How do you know me? Sir, what have I done? What have I done wrong, I sir? So File the complaint against Sergeant Martinez, right? That That's you. Yep. Okay, good. 
It's okay, don't worry. I, w I was with Chris O'Brien today at City Hall. Perfect. Yep, I was right with him today. Laughing, telling jokes, having fun with him. Yep, okay, cool. Yep, right outside of my house, Sergeant Martinez. No one can file a complaint against you, right? Do I have the right to? Sir, do you have the right to file a complaint against me as your civil right? I just want to know. Sure. Okay, so okay, that's your civil right. So why you why are you depraving me of my civil right, sir? Sir, I got pulled over for no reason. Oh, but you were making fun of my mom a week and a half ago. Good for her. That's her, that Anthony Trons put a rod in her leg. All right, you called my phone. Good for my mom. Laughing. Good for my mom. That Anthony Trons put a metal rod in her leg. Right. Good for my mom. That's what he did. You guys are you guys are with him? You got you guys are with the law or are, are you guys against corruption? You guys stand with the law? Just want to know. The sergeant called me on the phone to make fun of my mom when I told him his officer put a metal rod in her leg and she was in ICU for two months. Good for your mom. That's who you guys are standing with tonight, right? This is a setup and you guys know it. I don't know if you guys know it, but this guy knows it. I don't know if you guys are in on it, but this guy's in on it. You guys can't stand with that, sir. You guys can't stand with that. That's nasty, Sergeant Martinez. You had this guy sit right here in the corner, pull me over for no reason. That's my car, my car, my car. Your car's over there. Sir, I just turned the corner at the stop sign to go to my house and he busted a U from where he was parked right there on the other side of the road Adrian, and pulled me over. Adrian, okay. Oh, you guys, you, sir, I'm driving home. Sir, I'm driving home. He just told me to get out of the road, sir. You got your body camera rolling? Okay, he just told me to step out of the road, sir. That's why I stepped out of here. He pulled me over while I was driving. That's it. That was I got, yeah, I got out of the car. You already know this is a traffic stop. I'm out of my car, got out of my car. What do you mean, what am I doing over here? Okay, easy. I answered it for you respectfully. Okay, but I know what this is about, sir. I really, really know what it's about. Okay? Okay. I know what it's about, sir. You called my phone a week and a half ago making fun of my mom, right? It was funny, right? Trying to drive me crazy? Yeah. Trying to have me on the road upset? You're putting other, you're putting other people's lives in danger, sir. You're, you're, you're corrupt. Some of these cops might be good cops, sir. You're, you're sitting here doing dirty work right now, putting them in danger, putting their careers in danger, and for what? For what, sir? These people worked hard to become cops. Yeah, you, you agree? You agree? They probably don't do the stuff you're doing. No. Okay, I appreciate you letting me know that. You guys worked hard to become cops, right? Okay, you guys stand by what he's doing? No no answer at all, sir, right? You, you stand by it? You worked hard to become a cop? He's putting your career in danger right now, sir. He's got you out here with corruption, sir. This is what this is about. It's not about a traffic stop, sir. You see how they pulled me over corrupt and then he walked up to me, oh, you're Adrian Cicello? Chris O'Brien, smiling. Hi, how are you? City Hall today. Oh my God, I felt I felt so good about it. I said, man, this guy's a good guy. There's no way this stuff is happening. Maybe I made a mistake. And, and look, it's happening. It's happening. I just got off the phone with 911 two minutes ago. Some cops went to my mom today, dirty, telling her we don't like your son harassing a 70 year old mom who his officer that he supervises put a metal rod in her leg for the rest of her life they went up to my mom at the park today young circle we don't like your son talking to mom about me sir you didn't have to do it like this sir you're caught on camera your body camera's rolling you know what it's about be honest you're depraving me of my civil rights sir you're 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 you are it, this is like a criminal organization that you're doing, sir. It's not law abiding. You know that. It, 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 this is criminal, sir. You know that. You know, my tints were too dark. Do you not hear what's really going on? You guys are flashing the light in my car. Do you, do you not see what's going on, sir? You got your body camera rolling? Do you hear what's going on? So that's what I did. And I had this guy a week and a half later after I, I requested him from his lieutenant to give me a call to speak about Anthony Trons who assaulted my mom. And he called me on the phone right away. Your complaint's gone nowhere. Good for you. Good for you. Good for your mom that she's got a metal rod on her leg for the rest of her life. 
It's okay. Hey, I was created by God, sir. You're not going to come take away anything from me, sir. God created me. Sorry. Sorry, sir. You don't own me, sir. God owns me. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry, sir. God created me, not you. You have no authority over my life, sir. Whether you like it or not. You have no authority, sir. Not at all. You know what you're about. And, and like I said, respectfully, he probably pulled you guys out here. You guys don't know what's going on, right? I'm not accusing you of being corrupt, not you, not you. But he's got his little criminal enterprise, trust me. I went there to get a piece of pizza the same day that I filed a complaint against. The same day I went right here to my house across the street to get a piece of pizza. Officer Clark running up on me. As I opened my door, they didn't say nothing to him. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I said, sir, I'm getting a piece of pizza. Is it against the law? Spit on the ground. File a complaint against me for spitting. Okay, that was that was four hours. Hey, okay, I did nothing wrong to you, sir. I did nothing wrong. Adrian Tassilla, I know. Oh, look, it's Adrian Tassilla. What do you know about me? What did I do wrong to you, sir? What have I done wrong to you but tell you the truth that your officer put a metal rod in my mom's leg? What did you do to me? You? Oh, we had a pleasant conversation. Good for your mom? When I told you Anthony Trance put the rod in her leg, what did you do? Laugh? Good for your, good for her. Good for her. It wasn't pleasant, sir. I, I recall it clearly day as night, sir. I will never forget that my entire life as long as I live. God, my witness, God knows what you said. That, 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 that's even, that's why eventually you're going to go down for your corruption because God sees it, sir. God sees it. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time, I promise you. It's only a matter of time. You're making, you're making all, I, you know how many good cops I ran into in my life. You're, you're putting me on edge. You're putting me, on, you got this criminal, this, this guy, he's a criminal, sitting outside on purpose. He's sitting right here at the stop sign on purpose, so I make a turn to pull me over, and he walks up laughing. This is a setup. This is a damn setup, and it's a damn shame, sir. It's a damn sh Oh, I do know so. You're in on it. That's why you're saying you don't think so, sir. Okay, you're in on it. You're in on it. So these are the traffic sites. You're in on it. You're in on it. Adrian. Uh-huh. So okay. I already told you the reason for the stop. Okay. If you would like me okay. to explain it again. Sir, the on stop was a setup, sir. At no, no, I didn't know why, Sergeant. You know why, Sergeant? This exposes you. Citations. This you exposes you. You have 30 days to take care of these traffic citations. This exposes you, sir. Here you go. You're, you're doing it you right go. out in you're the open. This is an exposure okay. to you, sir. You have a good night. Sir, why did you? You're exposed now. Sir, the traffic stop is over with you. Okay, just can I get your name, officer? Okay, what's your name? Triplet. Triplet? Triplet. Okay, can I get your business card, sir? I don't have one, but I can. Sergeant Triplet. Okay, yeah, I appreciate it, Sergeant Triplet. Just got off the phone with 911 two minutes ago, sir. How are you doing? Oh, not this guy. Oh, God, my mom needed the ambulance, remember? I, I begged you for an ambulance. Get that? I have no record. Oh, God, she's not you. There you go, buddy. Damn, that happened a month ago. Here's my business card. Damn. You need to, you need to, I need to move your vehicle. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to move it. I want uh, his business card. You need card to move too. your vehicle. I'm going to gonna move it, sir. Done. I'm going to move it. You're done with this. It's time for you to leave. Okay. 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 Do uncultured beings with do an individual being stopped by law enforcement mentioning that they li live near Airbnb and were stopping do to a cat on the board. The conversation escalates as the person is unable to product products their driver's license and expresses concerns about intimidation tactics used by law enforcement after feeling a complaint against a surgeon. There are mentions of phone calls, alleged intimidation 
at the individual's house and interactions with specific officers and city officers. The individual feels their being in fairly targeted and their civil rights violated. The encounter ends with the, the officers urging the person to move their vehicle and offering him their businesses cards. The individual also express frustration and accuses accuses law enforcement of cor corruption. This is some lessons lessons learned from this video. Number one, know your rights. Understanding your rights when interacting with law enforcement is crucial. Being aware of what you're legally required to provide and what you're not obli obliga obligated to provide, such as your driver's license, especially if it uh, puts you at risk can be important. Number two, remaining calm. Although emotions understandable, this understandably run high in tense situations, maintaining composure and staying calm can help de-escalate and encounters. It's challenging but vital for a um, smarter interaction. Number three, Documentation. Recording interactions where legally allowed can serve as viable evidence. It helps maintain an, an uh, accurate record of what occurred during an encounter, ensuring clarity if the situation escalates or there is a need for legal action. Number four, seeking uh, clarification. Asking for clarification on the reason for a stop or the nature of an, uh, an account interactions with, uh, within your rights. However, doing so will remain in is practical can sometimes help navigate the situation more smoothly. Number six, legal support and compliant process. Knowing how to feel compliant against law enforcement officers. If you feel your rights have uh, been violated is crucial. Seeking legal advice or assistance in uh, such cases can be valuable. Number seven, safety first. Pro uh, prioritizing personal safety during any encounter with law enforcement or in any situation is key. Taking steps to ensure safety both for your civil so yourself and the officers involved can help prevent an unnecessary escalation. This lessons underscore the importance of understanding rights, remaining composed, documenting interactions, seeking legal support, and prioritizing safety during any encounter with law enforcement. That's gonna do it for this video. Much love to honor of video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love and check out his more serious videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.